This is Jared for Boxing Social in association with William Hill and Empire Fight Stuff. Delighted to be joined by Jermaine Franklin. Jermaine, how are we? I'm doing good. How are you doing? Really good. Thank you, mate. Jermaine, a big talking point heavyweight division at the minute. Uh, Joe Joyce just been stopped in the sixth round by Zhilai Zhang. Um, Dr. Stoppage. Uh, can I get your immediate reaction to that fight? Well, I think it was a good fight. Zhang was really dominating the fight, though, with his left hand. Let me say, do you think it was a bit? People are considering it an upset. You know, obviously Joyce had just come off a career best like win over Joseph Barker, straight in now, and then he's been defeated by Zhang. Would you see it as an upset, or did you think Zhang had enough in the locker to beat Joe Joyce? Uh, um, I mean, Joe Joyce was still kind of proving himself, you know, in a sense. So, uh, I don't say it would be. I don't think it was an upset, but you know, uh, some of the boxing world might feel like it was an upset. Because of the uh, status Joe Joyce has. Yeah, so with um, Zhang now, he obviously he's picked up the WBO interim heavyweight title. So it should chuck him in, obviously, the to the fights now, with potentially with Tyson Fury or Alexander Usyk, etc. Do you think that would be the best move for Zhang next? Uh, yeah, I mean, it'd be the smartest move. You know, once you get in position, you got to take the opportunity. So he got the interim. He need to try to get the world. So, you know... I would be trying to cash in on, on my opportunities too if I had the WBA in town. But, you know, uh, I just like to fight. So I don't know if he's going to fight again or he's going to wait around till he gets one of those fights. So would that be a fight that would interest you? Obviously, you're coming off the bat now. Obviously, you had a good 12 rounds with AJ. Um, it was a great fight to watch. Obviously, you've proven yourself. A lot of people are talking about you like as in one of the top heavyweights now after like going the distance with AJ and giving a very good account of yourself, would you think Zan could be a great fight for you next in your career? Oh, uh, yeah. I I guess I guess Zhang some fits. You know, uh, uh, you know that would be a great fight for me. Uh, you know, like I always said before, we it's not we not ducking nobody. We, we want to fight all the good people. So, you know, uh, that would be a huge opportunity for me because, like I said, he got the WBA interim, so you know, uh, that'll put me back in a position to be chasing some world titles. So, so obviously, like, you know, <clears throat> just alluded to then, uh, obviously, your fight with Joshua. You're back. I'm assuming you're back now in the States. How's life been since back in the gym, back training? Uh, yeah, I've been back in the gym, back training. But, you know, everything's been good. Just been chilling, taking time with my family, you know, chilling with my kids and stuff. So, uh, besides that, though, yeah, I've been back in the gym training, you know, uh, working on some stuff, getting back to the drawing board. Just say that like, a lot of people were talking about the body transformation you had when you came in at Joshua. You, know, you dropped all that weight. You looked fantastic. You even and in the ring you looked brilliant as well. So I think on these shows, there's a lot of people looking forward to seeing you back. Do you have a rough idea when you think you'll be back in the ring? Uh, I don't. I don't right now. But I'm trying to get back in as soon as possible. Uh, I still feel great. I'm not sore. Didn't have any headaches or anything like that. So uh, honestly, I just took a week off and got right back to working out. But. Jermaine, thank you so much for your time and talking to Boxing Social, mate. You know, and all the best for the future. Thank you. Thank you very much.